Well, hello there, my fellow wastelanders. Welcome back to my channel and to a brand new Fallout 76 video. So, in this video, I will be showing you the best ways to farm steel, whatever you are a higher level player or low level player, I got you covered. So, before we start, make sure to sub with a notification on to never miss a video from now on. And without further ado, let us start this video. So, as you can see, this video is two parts. The first part is for low level players or players who are basically just stingy with their ammo and they don't want to kill monsters to scrap their weapons. But the second half of the video will be for players who are willing to actually use some ammo, kill some monsters and get steel that way. Now I personally do that but I wanted this video to be usable for everyone. That's why I made it into two parts and I'm including this first half of the video. So. For the first location that we want to farm steel, you want to fast travel here to Hornwright testing site number 3. Now this is vault 63, up here is uh, vault 76, as you can see you want to fast travel all the way down here. Now when you fast travel the game will spawn you around here near this fence. So you want to start here, as you can see there is iron vein. You want to mine it now i forgot to mention do this with an excavator power armor because when you use your excavator power armor instead of just one piece it gives you four these two are unlootable you can't use those so after you pick that one up you want to come here near this uh cliff thingy and jump up here after you made that jump there is a decent bit of iron here this one here, here, some more here, here, and I think this is it, yeah, 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 so after this you want to jump up, there's some more here, as you can see this one, two more wings up here. Next, you want to just keep following this cliff all the way to here. There's uh, one more vein here. Next, you want to jump down. And you could pick up these. These are lead veins. And you're picking up steel. Why not just pick these up, right? Waste not one nut. You always need more lead, anyways. So it's kind of tricky to get this one. Yeah, and another one here. So yeah, that was it. Next, you want to make your way to inside that gate. And you see this big metal thingy? There's one more vein here. Next, you want to jump here next to this fence. As you can see, that's the gate we came in. The iron vein was here. You want to jump here. As you can see, there's another one of these big metal thingies. You want to go here. These stones. And there's one more vein here. You see this red truck? This is important. Now you can pick this up. This is one copper vein. It's just one. You can just pick it up. After you picked it up, you want to come to the back of the truck and kind of walk around it. There's one more iron vein here. After you pick that up, you want to come here. Let's see here. There's uh, an iron vein here. Another iron vein here. Another one here. One more here. And yeah, I think those and this last one. As you can see, we've got around 266 iron ore. It's not bad, but personally, I prefer doing it differently. Now, on to the next location. And for the next location, we want to fast travel to the White Spring Resorts. Here, you want to make your way inside the building itself. 
Now with these two locations, I want to show places where you could farm the most line of steel without using a single bullet. So technically speaking, you could do these two locations at level 1. That's what I wanted to showcase it. You know, for those stingy fucks who prefer this over killing monsters, these two locations are good for you. Now, when in the White Spring Resort, yeah, the fucking server. Okay, when inside the resort itself, you want to make your way down here to the shops area and start at, at one side, doesn't matter. I usually start at this side. And you want to go through every shop and take their metal baskets. Metal baskets and uh, whatever metal stuff they have. I think these magnifying glass have some steel in them. Sorry, I don't know why I call them metal steel. You want to take these hangers. few more here these lanterns yeah so you want to go through every single shop and pick up any metal item that you could see they all scrap for steel you could get about i would say 60 to like 110 or 20 steel from this place so it's another hundred plus the couple hundred that we got in the previous location so we're looking at around 500 600 steel with do, doing those two locations now after you've done all of it you know you want to just want to go through all the shops i know i'm not going to show you all of it it's too big you want to come to this shop and here you could scrap whatever steel you have now some people believe that the resort and farming it via the veins is the best way of getting it but personally i prefer killing monsters which I'm gonna show you how I usually do it. So the first location that I use for farming steel off monsters and just scrapping their weapons is Harper's Ferry. So this is a Scorch spawn. Their minimum level is 10. So if you're a level 10 player, technically speaking, you can farm this place, but it's up to you. I showed those previous locations so that you guys could also take something out of it if you don't wanna use ammo. So, it doesn't matter if there are super mutants or scorch. You see, super mutants are stronger. However, the weapons that they use usually have more steel and scrapping. So, it kind of pays itself up. Also, one of the one of the main reasons why I farm steel this way is that so I could farm XP alongside with it. You know, you could get a lot of XP by just farming steel this way. I do it, so that's why I personally prefer farming it this way. You know, you could also get legendaries, XP, and you also don't need to use acid for turning the iron ore into steel scrap. So yeah, basically you just want to run through the entirety of Harper's Ferry, which is a big location. However, some people might suggest you go into the boroughs now that's a bad idea you don't want to go there because i think the only monsters that could spawn down there are ghouls and ghouls don't have weapons so with doing that you're just wasting ammo and not getting any steel in return a few moments later and after you've done clearing this place you want to make your way to this station now this is why I personally only farm Harper's Ferry because this station is quite close to it so you could just walk up there and scrap all your weapons that way. So you want to start making your way there. It might take like 5 minute ish to get there but it's not that long. It's not that long. It's definitely better than any other place in the map by far. And when you finally reach the train station you want to make your way inside the train station and I think here and start scrapping your weapons. Now make sure that you have the scrapper pork equipped to get the most amount of steel out of this. So 
so I've got 255 steel scrap out of this now I didn't fully like look around the hoppers ferry I just like cleared the surface and I will showed you all around it and shit so you could get about I would say 400 three to four hundred steel when doing it so yeah I definitely recommend this place if you're gonna farm steel as the first place but let's move on to the next location and for the next place I recommend the black water mine now this place isn't a scorch or a super mutant spawn this is a mole miner spawn and you might ask okay why this place well this place is uh, the easiest mine amongst the other mines and mole miners they drop decent loot you know their guns and shit they're actually pretty decent like some of them drop missile launchers and shit which scrap for like 20 something pieces of steel which is really sick and they also drop a shit ton of titanium and they give a decent amount of xp so that's why i almost every time include this place on my list also there's a lot of just items that scrap into steel plus a shit ton of oil in this place yeah you see that guy he dropped a gauntlet and a missile launcher so that will be just 40 pieces of steel scrap just from him so after you finish the outside you could head inside the mine itself i usually don't do that because you know out here it's like all of them are exposed and you could just quickly kill them but it takes a little bit of extra time in the mine itself so i usually just don't bother doing it and move on to another location but this place on an average would give you about 300 all the way up to like 450 something 500 steel scrap plus all the titanium and the xp that you'll get for doing it so i also recommend hitting this place as well now for the last place i recommend doing the westic research center however keep in mind this is a very hard place to farm there are a lot of super mutants it's actually really good for farming legendaries if you're into that and a lot of xp but it's really hard to do this is westic over here this is the national iso the radio array this is the pleasant valley station white spring yeah here the enemies that spawn there i think they're always super mutants they're extremely high level there are a lot of them there's a good chance that you could get a legendary plus so much fucking xp so maybe you could keep this place in mind too i personally only farm it if i'm going out for legendaries but besides that i don't really recommend this for farming steel because you'll be losing more than you'll be earning at this place if you're only going for steel now guys that'll be it for this video if you have any other questions about file 76 or any question in general feel free to ask me in the comment section i answer to all of your comments and i will catch you on our next video